Hey, Jonas here, and today I'm going to be reviewing this ukulele from Irene, or Irene, or Irene, however you pronounce it. It's made in China, and that's why it's cheap, like many things, but uh, I'm going to be, it's a little bit less cheap. They sell it for $40, uh, which is interesting because I uh, compare it to the really cheap ones, which they sell for like $25 something like this. This is the watermelon ukulele which I reviewed last time. You can check out that review. Uh, I'll put a link here if you want to see the review for this watermelon ukulele. So you already know the sound of this one. I like the sound of this one pretty much for such a cheap ukulele. It's very good and it'll be interesting to see how it compares to this one which is $40. And I'll also compare, compare it to my Mahilele which is the ukulele that I use in all my almost all my videos which uh, so you can just listen to any videos and see how it sounds and that way you have the comparison of this one which you know and this new one the Irene instrument yes it's the Irene instrument resonated it says it's resonate in heaven something like this so it's supposed to resonate like heaven let's see about that So you heard that all these three ukuleles have a very different sound, completely different, which is interesting. Instead of just saying like, this one's a little bit better, this one's a little bit better, I can actually compare different ukuleles. So this one has a very bright sound, even brighter than the, than the, than the Mahilele that I usually use. This one has a very bright, a um, little bit more higher, higher tones actually to it. That has advantages and disadvantages, depends what you want. That means it'll sound louder 
that means that you hear your voice a little bit less maybe the ukulele so if you want to concentrate on the ukulele if you think that it's that it's nice to have the ukulele sounding a little bit louder then then this one would be better if you want to have a ukulele where you the ukulele will sound more mellow this one the watermelon is much much more mellow darker tone and you'll hear your voice more because the ukulele we sound, will sound less strong that doesn't that's not necessarily bad that means it'll it'll carry your voice a little bit more it'll it'll have a nice background sound to it whereas this one will have more of a foreground sound it'll stick out and it'll sound really good with your voice depending how you sing depending what you want to sing and the mahilele that i usually use is somewhere in the middle it is pretty bright but uh, but not quite as much as this Irene, as this iron ukulele. So now the build quality. This ukulele is a sort of strange mix of some things which are really high quality for such a price and some other things which aren't so good and you need, fi and need fixing. There are three problems like this but the good thing is that all three of them you can fix by yourself at home pretty easily. So I'll start with the good side, <laughs> is that it's all made of wood, it's all made of spruce actually, and um, and you can feel that even the inside, even the backside, even the even their tag, even the, the tag with the ukulele name, everything is made of wood, and it's made of nice wood all around, you can feel there's, it's not rough, it's just, just perfect, and um, all this with this nice, nice blue color, um, all around, so very nice wood build. The tuning pegs are all enclosed metal, which means that no sand can get in, no dust or anything will get in, and they'll probably last longer. And they're actually good, they, they stay perfectly in tune. Unlike my Mahilele ukulele, which has open tuning pegs, which means that they, they, uh, they can get dirty, and they're not actually very good tuning pegs. I might change them actually one of these days, even though this one costs twice more than this than this Irene ukulele. So that's actually really good. But now, here are the three problems with this ukulele. One, the fret wire isn't very well rounded off on the edge. It's sort of, it won't cut you, but you can feel it's a little bit rough. And so you'll need to take a little piece of sandpaper and send that down. Be careful not to sand the wood too much. Just send, just send the, the metal down. So that should just take a few minutes. That's actually okay. The second thing is the strings. The strings that come with this are really bad. So, as I've said before anyway, when you buy a cheap ukulele, one of the first things you should do is change the strings. Buy some strings like Aquila or something like this. And just change the strings because they never come with good strings at, at this sort of price. So anyway, you're changing the strings, that's fine. But these strings were especially bad. They, they really, they got untuned very much for several days. And now, four days later, it's starting to be stable. But Anyway, you should change the strings. And the third thing is a little bit more annoying. It's again the fret wire. The fret wire actually isn't perfectly adjusted, which means you get a little bit of buzz sometimes. So you can hear the buzz here. That's the string buzzing against the frets, against the next frets up here. So so when you, you anyway you'll be changing the strings so when you take off the strings you have all this space here so you again you take the fret wire and you just send that down a little bit until so that these are a little bit lower and then you don't get the buzzing sound anymore but it is a little bit annoying to do well worth it though if you're buying this ukulele you, you should you should do this it's too bad they didn't adjust this but it's not a big job so if you're motivated might be worth it. If you like the sound of this, definitely worth it. The sound is the most important thing. What's a little, you know, if it takes a little bit of work, I've worked hours and hours on different ukuleles to get them, to get them the way I wanted. It's always interesting, but you know, only if you really like the sound of this. One more thing that people don't speak about very often, but I like to have a big flick zone. So on here, you actually have a nice, It does sound pretty loud, flicking against it, much louder than on my Mahilele ukulele, the, which doesn't sound like anything, and that's too bad, but this one has the best of all. 
really big, big flick zone, and I like to play and to flick. So it's nice to have this flick zone, but this one does have a, it does have a pretty good flick zone compared to some ukuleles. Pretty nice. And here is the blue color, so you can see it from up close. Nice blue color, blue like the sea, blue like the eyes. So if you're interested, I'll put a link to this ukulele to where you can buy it for $40, uh, right down here. And that's if you want super bright ukulele, and if you want super dark ukulele, super mellow ukulele, well, I'll put also a link down here. So I'll put the link to both of these, to the watermelon ukulele and to the blue iron ukulele.